Today is my first ever class, not online, which is quite nice. It's still part of my language course, so my degree hasn't actually started yet. To get there, I have to walk over the bridge, the outer bridge. I don't have a clue where I'm going. Thank God for Google Maps. It's very confusing here. You can't cross on a red man like you do in England, because otherwise you get fined. Bikes can't go on the normal pavement. They have to go in the, the bike lane, otherwise they get fined. Very sweet town, like place where everyone follows the rules and there's lovely history and statues I'm about to go across the bridge yeah. oh, this is interesting <laughs> what the hell oh, there are two tiny windows <laughs> Did you see me when my chair literally collapsed on me? Did you see me? It was the worst thing. I was just lying on the floor. It's a pledge that no one an amazing night last night, it was so funny because we had a whole bottle of wine each and let's just say we were rather tipsy. So Imogen came back to mine and I put up the blow up bed for her and there's actually a hole in it and then I didn't think until this morning that when I leave the only way you can lock your room is by using the car key. So car key, I'm really tired, key card. The only way you can lock your room is by using the key card. So Imogen has to stay in there till I get back otherwise my room's left unlocked. But that's okay because she doesn't have a language course, so she's just going to chill and get sleep. Unlike me, when I come home, I'll film Imogen, see how she's doing. Hopefully, a bit better than uh, the way last night ended. <laughs> I'm currently waiting at the bus stop. For some reason, they think bus stops only require a seat for one person. Well, the wind is certainly waking me up a little bit more. I'm about to cross over the bridge again. I still cannot believe that we're the class that has to go under and have no views, yet other people get to see the gorgeous castle. The language course is done, I'm nearly home, it's become sunny. The language course went much better today because I didn't actually fall off my chair and break it. I'm about to go home and greet Imogen, see how she's been doing. 
I just realised I never told you guys where I'm actually living. I'm in Comenius House. It's very much so a school street. This is the younger playgroup school. And then down the end of the road is a huge school, which is called the Bunsen Gymnasium. And this is my building. It's called the Comenius House after whoever that man is. <laughs> I am right off on the third floor. So there's the reception. And in here is a really cute piano room. And in there is the library. And right here, we've got table football. Um, and then this is the little playground where the kids play. Walking back to my room, I can always see you them playing, which is the sweetest thing ever. And we also have laundry and a little snooker room, which I haven't invented yet, so I can show you guys that at some point. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We're thriving. We're changed. Yes. We're not actually under the covers. Are you hungry? Have you had food? Babe! <laughs> I'll just get, I've got some bread. 